Hello everyone. In question number eight, we have to express all these parts in the form of p upon q, where p and q are both integers. We already know that any number which is non-terminating and repeating itself can be represented in the form of p upon q. So when I am saying 0.3 bar, that actually means 0.333. And lastly, it is happening. We take this value as x. First of all, we have to consider or see that how many digits are not repeating themselves. After the decimal place, there is no digit which is not repeating. There is only one digit and that is a repeating digit. So here also there is one digit which is repeating but one digit is there which is non-repeating. Here also there is one digit which is non-repeating while two digits are repeating. This does not have any number after the decimal place which is non-repeating. Here there are two digits which are repeating, here there are three digits after the decimal place. So if it is one digit, we multiply the whole equation by 10. If there are two digits repeating, we multiply the whole equation by 100. So 10x will become 3.333 and it is happening endlessly. When we subtract the 2, it becomes 9x because 10x minus x is 9x. When we subtract this from this value, all the decimal places will be cancelled out, comes out to be 3 and the value of x becomes 3 upon 9 which can further be cancelled and can be written as 1 upon 3. So this is written as 1 upon 3. It means the value of p comes out to be 1 and the value of q is 3. In the second part it is 5.2 so it can be written as x is equal to 5.222 and so on. After the decimal place, again it is only a single digit, so we multiply by 10, it becomes 10x is equal to 52.222 and so on. When we subtract the 2, the, this can be cancelled out by this, so 9x becomes 52 minus 5, that is 47, and the value of x becomes 47 upon 9. So this way we can solve the value of p and q. Here there are two digits which are repeating themselves. Again, I am taking x as 0 0.404040 and so on. In this case, we have to multiply the whole equation by 100. Multiply by 100. Now, why I am multiplying by 100? Because there are two digits which are repeating themselves. So, it comes out to be 100x is equal to 40 .40 and so on. This now can be cancelled with this. So if we subtract 99 x becomes 40 and the value of x becomes 40 upon 99. This way the value of p is 40 and the value of q is 99. Now this question is different from this question. Because here both the digits are repeating, but in this case, one digit is repeating and one is non-repeating. So in the first case, when the digits are non-repeating, then we have to take those numbers on the left hand side. So, so that all the decimal places, all the uh, digits which are after the decimal places should be repeated once. So first I am looking for x is equal to 0 0.4777 and so on. All 7s are repeating only, not 4. So when I multiply it by 10, this 4 will come on the, before the decimal place, it is 4.777 and so on. Now we know that only one place is there, one digit is there which is repeating. So this has to be multiplied by further by 10. So 100x becomes 47.777 and so on. Subtracting the two, these can be cancelled out. So 90x becomes 43. That is basically 47 minus 4. And the value of x becomes 43 upon 90. So what we have assumed as x comes out to be as a solution. The next question is point 134. Here the numbers which are not repeating is one digit. The digits which are repeating are two digits. It means first we have to multiply a number by 10 and then again in next step we have to multiply the number by 100. 
when I take x is equal to 0.134 and 34 bar, it can be written as 10x is equal to 1.343434 and so on. Because there are two digits and one digit is non-repeating which we have taken before the decimal place. Now multiply it by 100, it becomes 1000x is equal to 134.3434 and so on. These can be cancelled with this. Subtracting the two, 990x becomes 134 minus 1, that is 133. And the value of x comes out to be 133 upon 990. So this way, the value of P is 133 and the value of Q is 990. Here, it is very clear that there are all the decimal places, all the digits after the decimal places which are repeating. So X comes out to be 0 0.001 bar which can be written as 0 0.00100001 and so on. When there are three digits which are having the repetition, so we multiply the number by 1000. So it becomes 1.0010001 and so on. Subtracting the two, this can be cancelled with this. So 999x becomes 1 and the value of x becomes 1 upon 990. So this way we can solve the values of P and Q. But one thing is very clear that first of all we have to take the digits which are not repeating before the decimal place and then we have to look for how many digits are repeating either 1 or 2 or 3. If it is 1 digit multiply by 10, if there are 2 digits multiply by 100, if there are 3 digits then multiply by 1000 and this way we can write it in the form of P and if in case you have any problem, you can email or contact us and further we will go to question number 9 onwards. Thank you.